they really seem to stifle you there, Matty. What, what, what happened there? Yeah, I thought their pressure was really good. Uh, they've been a really good tackling team for a number of years, and obviously we had a fair bit of the ball forward, but they were able to, you know, get the extra number there and just, you know, obviously nullify our scoring. We had the same scoring shots, but their pressure meant that our, our opportunities weren't as good as theirs. What do you take out of that then? Well, clearly we've got to get better. I mean, they, um, you know, there was lots of numbers in the game that are, are pretty decent. Uh, but ultimately, their ability to go sort of length of the field on us a number of times was was pivotal in in the contest. You know, they they took their opportunities and and they you know due to their good pressure and the way that they structured up their defence, we weren't able to make much of ours. So, um, you know, lots of learning out of that game, um, but opportunity for us to to get better and make sure that when we if we can get another shot at them at some point, we do it we do it better. You mentioned the numbers there, and yeah, that certainly didn't seem to indicate a, a thirty point margin. Do you scratch your head a bit after that? Yeah, I mean, obviously the. The scoring, the scoring shots end up level. So I think, that, I mean, clearly the, they, they played the better footy. They deserved the win, but the margin probably is, wasn't quite reflective of the contest. But um, you know, they were they were very very efficient when they went forward, and um, and contrastingly, we were we weren't at all. So, um, but yeah, probably if you look at all the contested and the uncontested stuff, uh, you know, the, the margin probably is is slightly out of whack. Do you think the defensive structure needs improvement? Yeah, well, we'll have to look at, have to have a look at it because yeah, clearly you know there's probably four or five occasions where we had the ball in our front half, we were in good shape and they were able to you know, take it length of the ground. So anytime that's happening, then you've got to, you've got to have a look at that. Um, we'll uh, we'll go, to, go to work on that and make sure that we get it right. Is Chloe Shear one of the positives? She was very good in her first game back for a long time and um, you know, obviously uh, she's worked really hard to get back to that point and, uh, and so we're really pleased for her. Obviously the team result wasn't what we wanted, but for her to be back out there running around and... Um, for us to see the talent that she has was, was a great, great, uh, great part of the day. Erin clearly gave you a focal point up forward late. Yeah, I mean, you've yeah, got, you've got a clone of her or a few, but yeah, yeah. that's right. I mean, ultimately, we were chasing the game at that point, mm. so um, so we decided, yeah, you know, for her to spend, the, you know, almost exclusively play forward in that last quarter, uh, and we were able to get, you know, enough ball down that way to, to give her give her a chance. Um, once again, they scored two goals in the last off, you know, we, we had, you know, the majority of the play, but when they got their chance, they took it and it was probably reflective of the game. What about Martin? Yeah, so absolutely. So it's obviously a second game. She played last year as one of our uh, top up players, um, but then was ineligible because of the rules at that point. So for her to come in and, uh, yeah, I thought there were some really nice moments in front and square and, um, you know, you know she's, she trained the pre-season really strongly and was, would have been in contention for round one, but she just had a minor setback on the eve of the, eve of the season. So for her to get her first game this year was, was, was another positive. Trent spoke of it as being a bit of a statement game for them to sort of announce themselves to, to beat a team of your calibre. I guess, conversely, does that mean you need to do a bit of homework and go to school a bit on that? On that yeah, look, well, they've, I mean, they've, their run at the moment is pretty strong, so I don't think they probably needed to make any statements. Everyone would be aware they're a pretty good team, but um, you know, we want, we've got aspiration to be, you know, be part of the, the pointy end of the season. And on today's performance, we won't be, we won't be where we need to be. So there's, there's work to be done, and we'll, uh, we'll set about doing that as of tomorrow. Can you talk us through what happened to Chelsea Randall? Yeah, so Chelsea reported to the doc after the game that she just was, wasn't feeling great. Uh, and then ultimately, um, subsequently, was you know diagnosed with a bit of delayed concussion. So she she just went into the protocol of, of 12 days. And um, I think, in many respects, you know it's disappointing for us, obviously, not to have her out here. But I guess it's probably probably not a bad thing because it just takes any grey out of it. Um, whereas you know, ordinarily we probably would have been pushing pretty hard to the line, just she would have been to, to try and be available. Um, you know, the, the new protocol meant that there was no question, and so she, she gets a full recovery. And uh, you know, you know, confident that she'll uh, progress really well. But um, ultimately, yeah, I think that's probably an example of, of the system working okay. Are you happy with that protocol? I am actually. Yeah. Initially, I think the the challenge point will be to make sure that um, you know there's no incentive to underreport initially. But um, but once once they're in the system and, and once it's clear that they have had been concussed, then I think that little bit of extra time just just takes all the pressure out of it and and it makes it really clear that you know their well-being is is the, is the number one priority. So the game becomes irrelevant ultimately. So um, yeah, it'll take a little bit of getting used to. But um, having just gone through it and lost a pretty good player, I'm still pretty comfortable. That's that's not a bad not a bad way to go. Did you report that? Yeah, straight after, right. straight after the game, yeah. So straight after the game, she caught up with, with the medicos and 
Um, and then, yeah, we're pretty much known from then that she, she wouldn't be available. Do you know what this week looks like for you? I do not know what this week looks like for us. Uh, so that's uh, yeah, that's that's the season that we're having. Um, but I'm sure that you know the announcements will be made pretty soon, and then they'll probably change them halfway through the week. Um, <laughs> but uh, whatever it may be, we you know we've got we've got lots of stuff to work on, and we'll look forward to whatever challenge comes next. Are you ready for pubs if that's what it comes to? Uh, it'll be that will be challenging for the whole league if it gets to that um, you know every every team will have players that are that their employment makes you know the hub really challenging and really tough um, we had a, a, a mini version of it last week when we went it, we had to head off you know on a really short notice up to Sydney um, so you know it's it's if we can avoid it at all it'd be great um, but ultimately um, it may well be part of, of the season and uh, and then we'll just have to manage it as as, it, as and when that happens so the fly in fly out yeah, absolutely. In a, in a semi-professional environment, you've got players that have got jobs and other employers that, you know, that they need to look after. So uh, as much as possible, we can fly and fly out. That's going to be to the betterment, I think. Injuries? In no, I think... Uh, well, no, I'm not that I'm aware of. Yeah. Not that I'm aware of. So I think we're pretty clear, cleared in a bit of health, which, which is nice. Happy? Good job.